Uh, hi, I'm Rick Lewis, and I'm here to discuss canal plasty. We are fortunate today in having Robert Sinsky, a uh, pioneer in cataract surgery, here with us. Uh, I have been involved in canal plasty since 2005 and have done over 300 procedures. Dr. S During the course of that time, Dr. Sinsky developed glaucoma and elected to have this procedure for his own eyes. I thought it's important to ask, how did you come up with the originally you get the diagnosis of glaucoma? How was it initially treated? And why did you elect to go with canal plastic? Well, I, I had my glaucoma uh, under control with, with drops. I had a, an ALT and I had an SLT uh, for the glaucoma uh, in both eyes. Uh, but the right eye was always under control without any medication. And I also took, um, uh, I couldn't take a beta blocker, so I took Zalatan, and then I went on to a pile of carpine and um, um, some of the other drugs that didn't work. And I, I realized I was sort of reaching the end of my rope when my pressure was, uh, was getting up in the high 20s. And my cornea was, uh, was thinner, so actually the pressure was actually higher than with the usual ablation pressure checks, probably closer to 30. My visual fields have always remained normal. So I knew I had to do something, and I didn't want a uh, the usual filtering bleb with all the uh, uh, follow-up and whatever, and make you more liable to get uh, in infections, etc. Having seen all the complications of trabeculectomy during the course of your ophthalmic career, what made you decide to have a bleb-free procedure? You actually uh, said the reason why I did, because it's uh, the usual uh, procedure that creates a bleb is a, uh, it's fraught with complications. Uh, it's not always, uh, it's frequently not successful. You have to repeat it. You have to play with it, etc. cetera. And uh, the average, uh, that's why I, I try to avoid that in my, in my, my, uh, my cataract practice because it took up too much of your time, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's why I wanted a, a bleb-free procedure. So what's it like now that you've been off drops for these last couple of years? I can't under, value underestimate the, the, the advantages of not being on drops because when you get to 87 years of age you're not only on eye drops you're on all kinds of other garbage other other medications and you have to keep track of this and of course your memory is not as good so you're always worried about did I use the drops or didn't I use the drops and it was irritating to the eye and, uh, and it, it makes it really relieves a tremendous amount of from your from your lifestyle to be off of drugs, it, it, it makes it much, so much better. Not to mention it makes your eye feel better. How did your views on the treatments of glaucoma change having undergone successful canaloplasty? Yeah, it's, it's a dramatic change, and I think it's going to change dramatically in the future because um, I think they will do, uh, they will do operative uh, inter, 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 uh, interdicted procedure, interdicted treatment of glaucoma earlier um, not use drops uh, and just go right on, right into canaloplasty or some procedure to control the pressure in in lieu of drops. I have a I have a hospital in Ethiopia, and I'm in close contact with uh, Bob Stegman and uh, who really helped develop this procedure in South Africa. And the treatment for glaucoma in these third world countries is initial surgery because they don't take the drops, they can't afford the drops. They won't, they won't to f follow the procedure anyway. So the next time you see them, they have a small visual field or they're blind, and that's not good. And if you just, just get into it with a surgery to start with, a reliable procedure like this, which is basically painless, it doesn't leave a bleb. And uh, in me, it's, it's worked for now for almost a year, or has worked a year, and I'm, I'm free of medication. My pressure's 13, and um, I'm totally asymptomatic. Can't ask for anything better than that. Having gone through successful canalplasty surgery, did you feel that the surgery interfered with any of your activities that you like to do? Uh, no, it didn't, didn't interfere with any, any activities that I have because I have, don't have to carry medications with me. Um, I don't have to worry about, uh, don't have to, uh, back to normal. You were an early innovator in cataract surgery. Do you feel that canalplasty will change the paradigm of glaucoma surgical care? Well, actually, I think it has already, but unfortunately, like all new procedures, it's frowned upon. I've had, uh, you know, a lot of doctors say, you know, don't do it, doesn't work that well. Uh, as a matter of fact, 
I had a, a fellow uh, 20 years ago who practices there, Dr. Lewis, and uh, he, he uh, apparently uh, had some patients who had it done in the, in the initial stages three or four years ago and weren't successful, so he, he, was, he would advise me not to do it. Fortunately, I ignored his, his advice because I think Dr. Lewis has uh, refined the procedure and certainly on me, you know, couldn't be more perfect, particularly in, in uh, exfoliative type of, uh, of glaucoma. So, um, yes, I think, I think it's, it's changed it, but unfortunately, like all new procedures, it's gonna have to go through a battle because first of all, you have to learn how to do it. It's not that easy, uh, uh, not, it, it looks easy when, once you learn how to do it, just like FACO. I went through the same period with FACO where everybody poo-pooed it, Patients said you'd go blind if you had it done, blah, blah, blah. And you'd go through that learning curve, that's all. And, and after, after a while, the evidence begins to mount how, mount how, uh, how successful it is, and you have to learn how to do it. Given your success with canal plasty surgery in the one eye, would you consider to have canal plasty earlier in the course of the disease in the other eye? Uh, you, you bet you. I, uh, yeah, if I have to start to use drops in my right eye, I will. I will uh, immediately go to the canaloplasty. Now it's not, you know, canaloplasty can have a complication too, like any interocular procedure, but I think it's worth the risk. Dr. Sinski, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure to get to know you over these last few years. It was a big honor for me to have been the one you selected to do the surgery. I'm very proud that we had such great success, and I, ho I hope this success continues indefinitely. Both of us came out ahead on this thing, because uh, I turned out uh, as good as it can be, having a pressure now of 13 without any eye drops or any medications. So uh, it's, been, my, it's, it's been, been great for me to, to have you operate on me. Thank you. Thank you for coming.